Hi guys, Happy New Year. I wanted to share uh, my first uh, mini album of 2015. I was working on this one during the Christmas break and just finished up so I thought I'd, um, I'd uh, post a video. So what I wanted to do was um, use up a paper pad that I had for a little while. It's um, a paper pad from Simple Stories and it was called Baby Steps. It's a 6x6 paper pad and um, I wanted something quick and easy um, that I can uh, do something with for a new mom and I thought um, this paper pad would be perfect. I had it lying around for a little while. It's an older one, not sure if you can still get it or not, um, but it had some uh, really nice cut aparts and stuff so I thought I'd um, try um, making a really simple quick and easy mini album, something that mom can put um, pictures in of her new baby as as the baby grows um, without having to fuss too much with um, uh, the scrapbook side of it. So, so um, this is what I came up with. Uh, for the base, um, the base of the album, I used a really nice tutorial from my sister Scrapper. She had a great video tutorial on how to make this gatefold um, mini album. I think she called it Sweet Day. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll just link it below in case anyone else wants to make something similar. And um, it, it was really, really easy to follow. Um, the video tutorial was step by step. She makes it kind of with you. So it was really easy um, to follow along. Uh, she, she really did a great job on it. So um, I'll link that below for anybody who's interested. So this is what I came up with. So for the front cover, um, the Baby Steps uh, paper pad had these two cut aparts that were um, pretty much the size of, of my, f my, f my two front flaps and I thought that was great so I just matted them on um, br dark brown cardstock and uh, pasted them on. Um, what you can do on the front is um, add some pictures of the newborn baby and I thought that would be a um, really nice easy simple way to, um, to display the album. So on the sides here, I just uh, pretty much did the same thing, matted them, matted the paper on cardstock and pasted them on. I wanted something really quick and easy and simple and I think it turned out really nice. Um, for the back, I didn't have a piece of paper quite big enough, it's a little bit bigger than six um, inches. So what I did was I just used my leftover scraps and kind of made my own um, sheet of paper and pasted it on. So on the front cover here, um, this as well was from my um, my stash, just had it lying around and I thought it went well with the papers. Um, so I added the ribbon closure and opening it up um, on the inside flaps here, I thought this would be um, a nice place to put newborn pictures. Um, the paper pad goes uh, has cut aparts for each month they didn't really have anything for the newborn, so I thought that would be great to put on the, the two front flaps. Um, so, room for a picture here, a cute little cut apart here for some journaling. On this side it says baby, and um, this cut apart uh, had welcome baby and it had um, room to put the baby's name, date, weight, and length. And I thought that was really neat. So, you, this just opens up, and on the back side it has what I love about you, and you can write in some journaling about the baby and um, it closes with a magnet and of course there's room for a picture and it, uh, the picture can just tuck right under there. So here on the first month um, I really like these um, cut aparts. Each month had room where you can put the weight, the length and some milestones just to document um, how the baby's growing and I thought that was really a uh, cute detail. So what I did was um, I added these two little cut aparts and they're just um, plain on the inside. I thought these would be really cute little booklets to put um, extra tiny little pictures inside and there's also room on the backs for um, journaling. And I matted a space here so quick and easy just print and paste um, a photo here of the baby at their first month and each one has a tag that pulls out and this is the first month's um, photo mat. Room for um, another larger picture or a few smaller ones. So that just folds over like this. And here's the second month. 
So again, it has a little tag where you can write the milestones. Um, there's another cut apart here, a bingo card, where you can add a picture to the back or some extra journaling. Another uh, photo mat here. And here is the second month um, pullout. So for the third month, there's another tag in here. Another spot for um, documenting the milestones. And this one here, I just made a postcard. There, there was, um, I just pasted them together to create um, a postcard. And I thought that was really cute. You can write on the back. And there's the photo math for the third month. And the pullout here has a nice layout. Um, nice room for a big picture here, some journaling, and it says you are loved. And this tab um, just holds in place with a magnet so you can slide the picture behind. And then here's the fourth month. And there's just a little itty bitty tag here where you can put a small picture on the back or some extra journaling with um, room for a picture. And there's the layout for the fourth month. So it says cherished moments and you can document more about the baby. And there's room for a couple small photos there. And here's the fifth month and another little bingo card. And room for a picture or journaling on the back. And here's a portrait, portrait sized picture here. And there's the photo mat. For the sixth month, here is, um, I had extra uh, cut aparts, so I just made a an accordion fold to put some pictures on and some journaling. Hi Amber! Hi sweetie! And here is the um, six months photo mat. And there is the large pullout photo mat. And for the seventh month, here is the um, little postcard. You can write something on the back. It says loads of happiness. And I left room for a portrait style picture there. And here is the um, photo mat. So it says look what I can do, where you can write um, some stuff about the baby and what they're doing and uh, room for a couple more pictures. Here on the eighth month, I have another little postcard here, that cute little hot air balloon, room for some journaling on the back, and a portrait style picture here. And there's the um, layout for the eighth month. Um, this here you can use for journaling. You can also put a picture on top of it if, you, if you'd if prefer to put picture there. The cut aparts in here were really beautiful and I thought they made great layouts. So for the ninth month, there's um, a little tag that says cute as a button. It has room for journaling on the back and nice room for a picture there. And there's the pullout here. So tons of room for pictures. And yes. And here is my 10th month and precious beyond measure. And I left that one blank on the back so you can put a picture or do some journaling. Another room for a photo here. And there is my pullout. On the 11th month, there's a couple little tags here. Pull out little booklets that open up and you can put pictures and journaling on them. And they just tuck back in there and there's room for the picture. And here's the layout for the 11th month. So room for a couple little pictures and some journaling. And at last, at the 12th month, baby's first birthday, nice little um, portrait style, or it's a big portrait style picture there. Another bingo card and a cute little um, ticket. It says cute as a button. Those just get tucked back there. And here's the layout for the first birthday. And I thought this was really cute. It has a cupcake with um, one little candle in it and then a journaling tag that says, it's all about me, I'm kind of a big deal. And I thought that was cute for first um, birthday. Room for another picture. 
and that tucks back in there. And on the back um, cover, I made a pocket and on the front flap, um, I added the rest of the cut aparts in here. So they just open up, same as the others, room for a picture on the inside, journaling. And they just, um, they just go into that little pocket there. And when you open this up, there's room for a large picture here. And in this pocket here, I made a photo mat. And I thought since uh, most of the album was um, pretty simple and flat, I thought I'd make a pull out um, a couple flaps here that just open up. And you have room for a large picture here and smaller ones here or some journaling. Lots of room for journaling or pictures on, on the front here. And when you turn it around, I have the remaining of these um, little tags that pull out of the little pocket. And there is the little layout and another room for a picture here and some journaling, or you can also put a picture on there. So this book came together really quickly. I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, only needed the one paper pad and some cardstock, which was great. And um, yeah, I think this would be a great gift for a new mom who might not have time to scrapbook. Uh, I really hope you like it. I'll have this for sale in my Etsy shop um, as soon as I get the pictures done. And um, thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.